G'day guys, in this video I'm going to discuss topwater lures for bass, in particular the Tiemco Softshell Cicada. The reason the Tiemco sets itself apart from other lures is the fact that it's soft. It's one of the most effective bass topwater lures when you're fishing those high pressured lakes, lakes that you see a lot of topwater fishing and a lot of tournaments. So the importance of this soft foam lure is the fact that it is so natural. It is natural in the fact that when it lands on the water it doesn't have that loud splash or that sharp sort of splash like a hard plastic lure does. The lure has two treble hooks on it, which is pretty important when it comes to topwater fishing for bass. As much as they have very good eyesight, some of them are very, very clumsy, and you'll get a lot of swipes at the lure and explosions on the lure, and you think, how did it get hooked up there? But by having two trebles like that, you end up hooking a lot of fish that you'd probably miss on lures that have one. It has soft wings that are also movable. The importance of movable wings, when you cast it, they'll close to allow the lure to be more aerodynamic. But then when you start retrieving the lure, obviously with the water resistance, the wings will open. So I'll run through the setup. So today I'm running a Dobbins Fury 702. I'm using a spin rod, which is not typical for me when I'm fishing topwater lures. It's a fairly powerful rod, but it has a very light tip. So with a light tip, I'm able to cast this light lure. But because you're fishing so tight to structure, you're fishing where the fish live, where they feel comfortable, you need to be able to, once you set those hooks, you need to be able to get that fish out of there. If you run a super light rod, that'll give you a lot easier casting. You got probably no chance of actually getting the fish back out of there. The reel I'm running is my typical 25 size workhorse. Quantum smoke. I find the 25 size perfect for long casting and it has plenty of winching power once you hook up. The main line I'm running is 12 pound. It's Sunline Siglon in the 8 strand and although it's 12 pound, it's a 0.8 PE. It's really thin, which enables me to cast this super light lure a long way. So the leader for fishing top water, I've beefed up a little bit. I don't normally fish anything above sort of 8 to 10 for bass. I've actually gone to 12. Because you're fishing a topwater lure, your, your leader is 90% of the time out of the water anyway. And you're also, back to that fishing around the structure, you can't afford that when they grab it and they put you in that structure to run anything too light or they'll just take your lure. So I like to run a loop knot on most of my lures, especially the ones that don't have a split ring on the eye. The reason I run the loop knot is I find the lure is way more natural with a loop knot on the front with it rather than having a, a fixed toe point. So as far as the retrieve goes for the TMCO, it's really, really simple, which is another reason why a lot of people love this lure. As with all topwater lures, you need to cast as tight as you can to the structure where you think the fish are gonna be. When the lure lands, I like to then allow a bit of time for the fish in the area, if they're not on the one side that you cast at, to be able to come across and see what that noise was where the lure landed. So after your lure lands, just give it a couple of seconds. A lot of guys time that the, the rings dissipating from the lure disappear, which is an easy way to do it. So if you're fishing isolated structure, the technique I like to do there with this lure is actually just sort of give it gentle shakes. And you see those lure just sits there and the wings will give a little bit of a splash every now and again and there'll be, there'll be ripples dissipating away from that lure. But what that does is it keeps the lure as tight as you can to the structure where the fish are. You don't want to do this perfect cast right next to a snag and then simply start winding it away from there. And if the fish aren't super active, they're not going to come out and chase that thing. So you want to give it as much opportunity as you can in the area that they are to get a reaction. The second and the easiest way to fish this lure is a straight retrieve. So this lure works just by slow rolling it. The wings will counteract each other and it'll just start walking across the top of the water and creates a very unique sound that the bass just can't seem to resist. And finally guys, to give yourself the best opportunity to catch a bass on a surface lure, look for bays that are out of the wind. You want that super calm water. Fish the low light times of the day, early mornings, late afternoons, or if you have an overcast day, that's fine as well. And look for areas with lots of cover. So you want the fish sitting as high in the water column as possible with the cover and the low light. And then you want those calm conditions so that your lure stands out to them from a long way away. And the last thing I'll say, don't give up. A bass on a topwater lure is worth two to three on any other technique. <laughs>